Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. And today we are going to Norway and San Diego, kind of at the same time. Actually today we are just going to Norway. We are drinking a Mikkeler beer. We are drinking Mikkeler Beer Geek Brunch Weasel Cognac Edition. And this is from 2012. I've had Beer Geek Breakfast before, or Beer Geek Brunch and Beer Geek Breakfast. Uh, most of the Beer Geek iterations that Mikkeler has produced and They've all been pretty spot on for the most part. Um, so this one, I've never had the cognac edition. This is a little bottle. This is like uh, 8.5 fluid ounces. And I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. So it's not the cheapest beer. It's definitely not the most expensive beer I've purchased, but it's pricey. So uh, let's open it up and see what it's like. So right when I opened this up, it was just pouring inky black. Like it was pouring like ink too. This is completely black with kind of a beige brown uh, head on it. It looks really good. Uh, I love it when stouts have a darker head, like a brown head or a beige head. It looks really, really awesome and it looks appetizing to me. So let's see what the beer's like. So right off the bat, I get booze. Um, it's a big beer, I think it's 10, yeah, it's 10.9%. It's not too much, but it's definitely, definitely there. Get a nice, kind of a sweet character from it. Not fruity, but maybe a, a dark fruit kind of, I don't know, just something kind of sweet smelling, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's interesting. I get like kind of a spicy character on it, kind of like a, not a chili kind of thing, but um, I don't know, like a roasted spicy, thing. Uh, it's kind of peppery. Um, that might be from the coffee. Um, this has uh, civet cat beans in it um, or Kopi Luwak, I think they're also called. I don't know if that's a different species or a different kind from a different region. Um, I'm not sure, but it's got that in it, which that's why that's where they get the weasel from, the Beer Geek Brunch Weasel. Um, but I'm definitely getting a little bit of that. That's interesting. A little bit of a soy sauce thing going on. It's not, it's not big, but it's kind of there. But yeah, the the spicy, peppery kind of thing, that's interesting, I didn't really expect that. So overall, smells really good. Um, don't get a whole lot of chocolate, per se. I get some roastiness on it, that spicy thing, some booze. Um, yeah, and it's overall, it's not bad. So let's see how it tastes. That tastes good. It's nice and smooth, it's well carbonated, is not infected, so that's a bonus. I'm getting kind of a caramely, fruity kind of thing. Um, dark fruit, um, really deep, um, not too sweet. Um, it's definitely on the bitter side. It's on the roasty side for the most part. It's dry, uh, but it's not thin. It's got a nice mouthfeel on it. Yeah, that spicy character that I was smelling on the aroma, it kind of carries through to the, uh, to the flavor. It's nothing big, it kind of, mingles with the booziness of the beer in a good way and uh, makes it a little more interesting. It is a little boozy too, but it's not bad. Um, this would be a great cigar beer. That's the, the first thing I thought of when I tried this. Um, there is like zero oxidation on this, no infection. It's perfectly carbonated. I mean, everything about it is really, really good. It's tasty. Um, it's on the roasty bitter side. And if that's what you like in big stouts like this, then you're gonna love it. So yeah, overall, this is holding up really well. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that Mikkeler is actually brewing beer in San Diego now at the old L. Smith spot, because why not have fresh Mikkeler IPA whenever I can get it, that's awesome. Uh, and I get to have more beers like this. And I did join their Viking Club, which some people have called me out on as being a bad idea. I'm not gonna name names, but I thought it was a good idea. And I'm looking forward to the stuff that Mikkeler's gonna do in the future. So. Cheers to Mickler, and that's one less beer in my cellar.